I am Dr. Sharjeel and you are watching my YouTube channel. If you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel. So today I would like to show you another case of amniotic membrane grafting for pseudophagic bullous keratopathy. Previously I had uh, again a successful experience of two amniotic membrane graftings for bullous keratopathy. So this is the third case. Now listen to the history. History is very important. Um, this 70 years old patient uh, had bilateral mature cataracts uh, along with the extensive pseudo exfoliation and pupils were also not fully dilating you can see from this uh, unclear cornea uh, the uh, iris uh, atrophic iris now routinely i perform phaco in majority of patients uh, but due to extreme caution i performed uh, eventless extra capsular cataract extraction uh, with IOL implantation in this patient. On the very next day, patient was having pain and white cornea. The fundal glow was good uh, and uh, there was no mucopurulent discharge. It was not end of thalmitis, but intraocular pressure was high and there was severe intense inflammation. So I gave him steroids of thyperotonic uh, uh, hypertonic uh, saline drops, anti glaucoma medications. Uh, after one month, uh, the corneal appearance bit improved, a uh, bit cleared, uh, but the pain was there. I thought initially that as one stitch was bit loose, it's it may be due to that uh, the pain, so I removed it, uh, but in vain, pain was there and then eventually the cornea decompensated and he developed pseudophagic bullous keratopathy after extra capsular cataract extraction now thanks god the other eye was operated with the use of viscot and endothelium was careful uh, cared a lot and so you can you have seen that the other cornea is clear and uh, uh, vision in that eye is 6-9 and it's a seeing eye. Now corneal pre-op assessment is of paramount importance and one probable cause of this pseudophagic bullous keratopathy may be that the cataracta nigra hard large nucleus touching against the corneal endothelium during nucleus delivery uh, in already compromised old age cornea and due to pseudo exfoliative material because pseudo exfoliative material is also deposited on the corneal endothelium anyhow he came back after few months uh, of developing uh, bullous keratopathy with severe painful bullet he described uh, the feeling that when i blink uh, it feels like uh, someone is uh, cutting my eyes my corneas with knives so after medical unsuccessful medical therapy with the uh, hypertonic saline drops steroids anti glaucoma and cycloplegics i decided to graft amniotic membrane in this third patient of bullous keratopathy first two are still pain free so i prepared fresh amniotic membrane cut it uh, and spread over the cornea and conjunctiva then applied six stitches uh, in the cornea near limbus uh, to anchor it completely and then you have to discard the remaining amniotic membrane by cutting the residual amniotic membrane circumferentially because if you don't cut it it can put traction on the graft and it may detach it amniotic membrane is a research proven material to heal the epithelial bullet and relieve pain in bullous keratopathy and i am collecting the cases and will publish it after having five to six cases it's an easy to apply procedure so i encourage audience to apply it and then also share their experience with me and other viewers as well thank you